Hi, I'm Billy, and this is Knox Machining. Welcome to the shop. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is quick tips and tricks number one, edge finding and center finding using an edge finder. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do edge finding and center finding using an edge finder that will produce accurate and repeatable uh, results. So let's take a look and see how I do it. Hey everyone. So I'm gonna show you how I do edge finding and center finding using a classic edge finder. This here is a 500 thousandths or half inch edge finder. I prefer these over the 200 thousandths edge finders because I don't see that well. Uh, these bigger ones pop easier and it's easier to see when they do. So what I wanna do is I want to set this point right here the rear of the part, left-hand side, as my origin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the quill down to just above the jaw, and we're gonna find that back edge. I run my machine at about 1200 RPM. Some people like 1000, some like 1500. It's arbitrary as long as you don't run it so fast that you sling your uh, edge finder apart and you keep it consistent between edges. All right. I'm going to bring it in. As it touches, I'm going to slow down. It popped. I'm going to clear out why. I'm going to back it off just a hair. Now I'm looking at the DRO. When I get within about 1.5 or so, I'm going to slow down. And I'm watching the edge finder and it popped three tenths and clear it out one more time and just come in and do it one more time. There we go. Good enough. All right, that's within one tenth. All right, now I'll come over and we're going to do the left hand edge. I'm going to drop the quill down. We're going to do the same thing. All right, clear out X, back it off, bring it in. All right, for those of you who are eagle out enough to notice, it read 500 thousandths before, and that was from a previous take. And what I did is, instead of setting it at uh, 250 thousandths, I accidentally set it to 500 thousandths and redid the take. But I just want to show you how accurate this method can be, because when I edge bound again, it was right on 500 thousandths. All right, so I'm going to set it to 250. All right, and I'm gonna bring this one back to 250. All right, and I'm clear these out. All right, so that's my absolute origin point. I'm not gonna mess with the ABS page any further. But I want to find the center of this part. Now, this could have an extra feature over here that I wanna find the center of. Let's you know, keep in mind that this is the origin. Excluding that, we're gonna find the center using this feature over here. It could be tapered, whatever reason, we're gonna find that, but we do not wanna lose our origin. So I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna drop the quill down. I'm gonna to switch to the incremental page. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out. All right, start the meal back up. We're going to come into it, and just like before, all right, clear Y out, back it off, there we go, dead nuts on. 
All right, so now I'm done with the incremental page. Now, here comes the cool part. I'm gonna go to SDM1, enter. And I'm gonna go to the other side. All right, and I'm gonna do the edge finding just like before, but I'm using SDM1 to do it. All right, it popped, clear Y, come back in. There we go. All right, now, at this point, we're gonna switch back to the incremental page, right there. We're gonna hit the Y, half function, okay? And we're gonna drop to zero. There we go, that's the center of the part. Now you may have noticed the little knock, knock, knock. That's me actually using the knuckles of my hand to knock on the end of the hand wheel to get that last couple tenths. It seems to work for me. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and ring the bell.